Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you've all been doing well. So we got a lot of interesting news reports that came out today. Polygon got hacked for $600 million. AMC came out with an announcement talking about Bitcoin. And we're also getting some more news about the developments on that infrastructure package that we mentioned in yesterday's video. This is gonna be a jam-packed video, so make sure you guys watch all the way till the end. Like always, don't forget to drop a like down below on this video. And let's get started with our crypto market update for today. All right, so the global crypto market cap for today is at $1.85 trillion. We're seeing a little bit of a pullback with a 1.18% decrease in the last day. So it looks like right now we're still seeing the overall sentiment of crypto still being rather positive, even higher than it was yesterday. This may be correlated with the fact that we are getting another opportunity for any new investors who have been sitting on the sideline waiting for a slight little pullback or just some cool down period to continue entering the space. So right now, Bitcoin has been fighting at 46000 dollars earlier today this morning they've been pulling back to forty five thousand dollars and right now it looks like if we break support on 45 we may be headed back down to 42 which could be another buying opportunity for anyone deciding to go long on this investment regardless it's still been a very solid week up 19 percent in the last seven days and ethereum even more than that 26 percent increase in the last seven days with ethereum holding three thousand dollars support very strong so the past few days have definitely been a wild 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 jump in the cryptocurrency scene. But the question you may have is, so what's going on, Brian? How come we're not making heavy momentum every single day? Now, let me tell you this. It is very, very good for us to see these natural pullbacks or days of cool down, especially during the middle of the week, which we are approaching now. In the past few weeks, while we've been seeing this buildup, we've been seeing pressure accumulating. The volume starts stacking up. And as you can see, we're still at $109 billion in the last 24 hours. We have been seeing more more increase in price structure happening on the weekends. So the fact that we may be holding these levels is not a bad thing at all. I think right now it's just good to keep your eye out on it, especially when there are many more fundamental factors that are going outside of technical analysis within the crypto community. And that starts with all the regulations, the infrastructure bill package. We also had word about a giant crypto hacking today. And right now, even though we are getting some more mixed reports on whether this could be good or bad, it is still very good news that we're seeing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies still holding strong right now. Now, in terms of the top 100 cryptocurrencies, the ones that are performing the best in the last 24 hours are going to be Axie Infinity, Ravencoin, Helium, ICP, Terra Luna, Voyager, Kusama, Decentraland, and even Cardano. I know a lot of people inside of our group are very excited for the resistance levels that we've been breaking through with Cardano. It's more incremental progressions, but there is a lot of word right now that Cardano may be heating up rather soon. Now, I did want to talk a bit more about Axie Infinity because this is a cryptocurrency that we've been talking about on our channel for the past few weeks. I still do have a price target for them to at least break $80, uh, whether it's happening in the next week, next two weeks, or even by the end of the month. I know that there's still going to be a lot of runway for this cryptocurrency, and you can see they keep making some newer, higher highs every time. Now, something we haven't done on this channel in a while is actually go over some of the top crypto gainers and losers. So there are some altcoins that are absolutely ripping, but I also do need to make this disclaimer that most of these altcoins are going to be some very shady pump and dump schemes. Now, we'll take a look at this one. You see a 2,608% increase in the last 24 hours, but look at the volume, 325,000. And then when you take a look into the charts, this is where it gets even more interesting. This is not a healthy growth of any type of cryptocurrency at all. You can see when they did launch an open, they started at $11, dumped almost immediately. So it looks like a clear rug pull here with the volume larger sticks just going up and down with huge fluctuations. And then you'll have days where it absolutely pumps up to the moon. Um, and the fact that this is a 2000% increase right here, I can't imagine what this was. It probably was maybe 20, 40, 50,000 percent increase. It doesn't mean that there aren't any smaller market cap cryptocurrencies that could still be a viable option. But I do want to make the disclaimer that right now, as we continue to see more volume and more money getting accumulated into the major top cryptocurrencies, there are going to be these smaller cap projects with another altcoin season stirring. I know right now for many new investors, when you look at numbers like this, 
it can be tempting because you want to dump all of your money into the altcoin scene. But I do want to make a mention here for my people. If you stick even with the slow growers, the ones that still have been established, you're going to be able to negate that level of risk while still increasing the amount of reward over time. You don't need to put yourself out there and risk all your money and treat this as a gambling situation, even when there are many altcoins surging. Uh, but there will be opportunities and there will be different instances where you will find projects that make sense and that don't have any type of negative connotation where it could be a possible rug pull or simply just a pump and dump scheme. So reported just last night, AMC said it will accept Bitcoin as payment for movie tickets by year end. So CEO Adam Aaron said during an earnings call Monday that the movie theater chain will have the IT systems in place to take the cryptocurrency as payment by the end of 2021. So just a few weeks ago, I had recently went into an AMC just to check it out, just to give it a little tour. And I actually saw some of the different upgrades that they were making uh, when you're trying to get a ticket. So I can definitely see them implementing a system where it does accept cryptocurrency, whether you scan it with a QR code, you put in your wallet address. So as much as I want to compare the significance of AMC to another company like Tesla, uh, we did not see the price of cryptocurrency jumping as much as we would before during this past bull run. AMC is currently at $31.86, down 25% in the last month. And I hope that this stock right here begins to pick back up because I am still holding positions on it. I am still holding the bag at the top, way, way at the top. Uh, so I'm just going along with it. And if it does ever squeeze or if the price continues to go up, I will be reaping the rewards then. Now, on top of that, this was a really interesting story. So this morning, $611 million were stolen in a massive cross-chain hack. So Poly Network actually came out with a tweet this morning saying, we are sorry to announce that Poly Network was attacked on Binance Chain and Ethereum and a Polygon assets have been transferred to the hacker's address, which they revealed right here. So the way the hacker did this was because of a cryptography issue, which is not usually the case and may have been similar to the AnySwap exploit, which saw $7.9 million stolen due to a hacker reversing the private key. The hack has also had wider implications as a result of it. O3, a trading pool that uses Poly Network to trade tokens among different blockchains, had to suspend its cross-chain functionality. Now, what's really interesting about all this is because the hacker was able to steal these tokens and he was trying to cash them out, transfer them into other tokens or put them into a stable coin. This was really fascinating. So there was a user who actually alerted the hacker and sent him a little note on a, a little tip that he sent to the hacker's address and says, don't use your USDT token. You've got blacklisted. So this was actually true. USDT was alerted and they actually froze that wallet's address. So he wasn't able to take it out. Because of this information, the hacker was able to make different alternative transfers. And what he did was he tipped whoever told him $42,000 in Ethereum for that type of information. So what ended up happening was uh, many different people started to tip him and send him small amounts, hoping to get more back. We had one person talking about, hey, um, I'm from Lebanon and I'm gonna need some bread because I'm a refugee out here. I'm living in some harsh human conditions. And uh, the people were actually looking at the hacker as kind of like this uh, source of donation or charity. So it was just really interesting to see the way all of this transpired this morning. Now, the good news out of all this is that because of blockchain technology, they were able to find the hacker's information. So they got their email address, their IP information, and their device fingerprint. Now, in addition to that, the U.S. Senate went ahead and sent the infrastructure bill to the House. So it went ahead and it got passed after a 69 to 30 vote. The infrastructure bill is now headed to the House of Representatives, which is expected to take up the issue in autumn. So there's still going to be a gap. This isn't going to happen very quick. As you guys know, politics, government, they take forever in order for ratifications or even amendments getting posted and clarified and signed. So I do believe there are going to be additional modifications to this bill bill moving forward into the future. But I believe the good news out of all of this is the fact that the crypto community is strong. They are able to speak up and we are still able to get the attention of leaders in the government. And it just raises more facts and shows us that 
look, they are afraid of cryptocurrency. They want to regulate it. Anyone who is endorsed by the banks or have any type of puppet strings on any of these representatives of the government officials who are supposed to be bipartisan and fair, we realize that's not the case. And this is exactly why we need cryptocurrency. So it's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. And whenever we have more regulations or talks about political theater going on in the news, this always drastically impacts the price of crypto in one way or another. So if we get good news, obviously we should be seeing more bullish activity with institutions deciding, hey, there is regulation on this, but to a certain amount, and it's not going to prevent us from continuing the adoption of where cryptocurrency is headed. So that would obviously be really good news. But if we do have more additional word that they want to tax this excessively, or they want to start adding more regulations in a negative way for the overall crypto market, then I do believe we could experience more pullbacks because people could get shooken up. Uh, larger whales and institutions may begin to sell their positions then. But as of now, we are more of in a consolidation period right now a little bit of a cool down today and hopefully by this weekend things start to pick up because i can definitely see fifty thousand dollars for bitcoin not being in the realm of possibility and being very viable including ethereum and many other altcoins at least getting a 50 to 100 percent surge if we continue this bull run all right guys thank you all so much again for watching this video all the way till the end the secret phrase word is going to be shocked comment that down below on top of that don't forget to check out the links down below in the description you can pick up two free stocks with Weeble, one valued up to $1,850 after depositing $100 into the app where you can buy both stocks and crypto. Check out Surfshark, where you can protect yourself with a VPN, get 83% off in three months free using my link down below. And check out BlockFi, where you can also earn additional interest and a free bonus in Bitcoin by checking out my link. One last thing, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Credit Brian. Thank you all so much again for watching. And until next time, peace out.